What's up guys? In today's video, I want to talk about my experience doing the Wim Hof method for the last 60 days consecutively without missing a single day. I had previously had a breathing exercise routine based off of pranayama, uh, a facet of kundalini yoga. And so I would do breathing exercises such as the breath of fire and what is called an alone vilom, where you basically regulate breathing through your nostrils. And I still continually practice those exercises but I would often miss a day or two during the week. And so starting off this year, about 60 days ago, I decided to also implement the Wim Hof method into my breathing regimen and also keep those yogic exercises as well. And so here's the experience that I've had with it. Doing one cycle of the Wim Hof technique takes me about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. And I noticed that my face tingles at the end of it and I have like a, more shininess on my face immediately after. I also feel completely refreshed in a much more invigorated way. In fact, the effects of just doing the breathing technique on Wim Hof is very similar to what it feels like emerging from a cold shower. Just very alert and aware and kind of buzzed in your face. Um, and it's a really pleasant, uh, awesome sensation. I didn't set aside a specific time of day in which I would do the technique, just whenever I could make time for it. But the time that ended up being a part of my routine most often was between 3 and 4 p.m. I only made sure to do the technique when both my nostrils were open. If you kind of take a, a check, your only one of your nostrils will be open at any given time, but then every once in a while, both of your nostrils will be open. And so whenever I notice that my breathing is completely open, you know, there's no closed off area of my breathing in my nostrils, that's when I would just take off. Um, my office has a fitness studio area, so I would take off and I would do the Wim Hof breathing technique alongside the breath of fire and Anulom Vlom, these pranayama techniques as well. My job requires a great deal of paying attention to details and looking at the fine print of things, and it can get very uh, mentally taxing to kind of like go very carefully over these documents for hours at a time. And so around 3 or 4 p.m. every day, I would feel totally kind Kind of frazzled in the brain and I would not have a, like a good alertness or a lot of mental efficiency and so taking off around that time to go into the fitness studio at the office and do these breathing techniques it felt so good and one thing that I noticed about Wim Hof method as opposed to just doing something like meditation is that there's a real genuine sense of euphoria once you emerge from it Doing meditation makes me feel calm, collected, focused, my intuition is sharper, but doing the Wim Hof method, it's like a feeling of happiness. It's really a kind of a powerful, cool thing. In order to speak a little bit as to how the Wim Hof method works, how it affects a person's physiology, I actually want to read a little bit from Wim Hof's ebook that he has up on his website. The Wim Hof method is unique in that it deals with three components, breathing exercises, training of mindset or concentration, and gradual exposure to the cold breathing exercises. The amount of oxygen that we inhale through our breathing influences the amount of energy that is released into our body cells. On a molecular level, this progresses via various chemical and physiological processes. Breathing is the easiest and most instrumental part of the autonomic nervous system to control and navigate. In fact, the way you breathe strongly affects the chemical and physiological activities in your body. The Indian sage Swami Sivananda had said something very comparable. He said that the regulation of your prana, the prana, which is your, the breath, your regulation of your breath, affects your mind. And so when you can control your prana, you can control your drishti, which means your vision. Your prana, your breath, affects the way you see things. By training your breathing actively, you increasingly gain control over a range of physiological processes in the body. By practicing the breathing technique, you influence the ratio between oxygen and CO2 in the blood. Based on scientific research, Wim Hof's blood levels indicated that after 30 minutes of implementing the breathing technique, he had a significantly low dose of CO2, and after 45 minutes of using the technique, the amount of oxygen in his blood had doubled. 
What happens when all this oxygen enters the body's cells? For starters, oxygen will convert into CO2 and water, which will take place in the mitochondria, which of course are the energy suppliers of the cells. This transference of oxygen is connected to the demolition of nutrients and the creation of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is essential in any body activity. Oftentimes people find that by doing a round of the breathing techniques, inhaling and exhaling very vigorously, um, people can actually double the amount of push-ups they do or other performance-based activities. This all sort of signifies what's happening in a molecular level in that person's cells. Those cells are sort of being supercharged with oxygen and it allows for the formation of more adenosine triphosphate, which in turn can power the body's activities, which is why performance might be going up. The technique also does a number of interesting things to a person's pH levels. What happens when you're inhaling and exhaling all of that oxygen and CO2? Wim Hof found in one study that his pH went up from 7.4 to 7.75. In this slightly alkaline condition, the body's cells can produce ATP far more efficiently and it helps prevent the buildup of lactic acid. Wim Hof is also known for a number of of superhuman feats. He can withstand really amazing cold temperatures for up to two hours at a time. And this ties into the second aspect of what the Wim Hof method represents, which is attention to mind and concentration. Wim Hof actually said that if he didn't have excellent concentration, he would actually feel the cold just like anyone else. His focus is very important in his ability to withstand powerful cold temperatures. I myself noticed that after I finished a round of the technique and went back to my work, my focus was actually greatly enhanced and I was able to definitely perform much better. And so in this regard, the Wim Hof technique is sort of comparable to meditation, but instead of putting you into a relaxed state that meditation does, the Wim Hof technique actually puts you in a more active state. It Honestly, it feels a little bit like you emerge from a cold shower or you emerge from a workout. The outline of multiple tests found that those who practice the Wim Hof technique actually increase the concentration of stress hormones, but this in turn has an anti anti-inflammatory effect and it can actually control the fight or flight response. The outcome of multiple tests outlined that Wim Hof and those who practice his method are able to actively increase the concentration of stress hormones in their bodies. In this process, the production of inflammatory proteins decelerates. By doing so, it appears as though the typical fight or flight response can be controlled. The third component of the Wim Hof method, of course, is cold exposure. And some of the studies done on Wim Hof found that when he is immersed in these cold conditions, his metabolic rate is at 300% of what is normal, and his body is producing a tremendous amount of heat. Cold exposure also activates the body's production of brown fat which is a really good thing. Unlike the mitochondria in white fat cells, the mitochondria in brown fat cells contain the uncoupling protein UPC1. Where necessary, this protein causes a chain reaction in which mitochondria directly transform energy from glucose and fat into heat. Babies have a lot more brown fat than adults, but Wim Hof has a much higher uh, amount of brown fat compared to the average adult, and this is likely due to his constant cold exposure. Essentially, I've really been thriving and benefiting from my daily Wim Hof breathing technique regimen, and it's something that I definitely am focused on keeping day to day in my life. Not only does it give me a sense of euphoria during my midday slump after my brain's been a little frazzled by the coffee I drank earlier that day and just having to look at a screen all day, but it makes me feel a sense of focus and euphoria and like alertness. It is similar to meditation in its effects, but while meditation makes me feel more calm, collected, tapped into my creativity and intuition. Doing the Wim Hof breathing technique just makes me feel like really alert and laser focused and with a sense of pleasantness as I go about my work. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nikhil. This channel is for people who want to bring to life a certain artistry within them, either as creatives or entrepreneurs. And in that capacity, I like to talk about success strategies that range from Eastern spirituality and Western productivity. So if that appeals to you, consider subscribing. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to connect with me further, you can follow me on Instagram. And with that being said, I strongly recommend everyone to give the Wim Hof breathing technique a chance. It could really do a lot for your sense of well-being and productivity but make sure that you're either seated in a chair or sitting on the ground. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.